Hi, my name is Olivia Meek. My project focuses on the bulk flow and filtration in capillaries. Capillaries are where fluids, gases, nutrients, and waste are exchanged between the blood and body tissues by diffusion. First, we start with an arterial, which is a small branch of an artery leading to the capillaries that collects blood from the heart and sends it back to the capillaries. Then we have venules, which are small veins that collect blood from the capillaries and send the blood back to the heart. Capillary walls contain small pores that allow certain substances to pass into and out of the blood vessel. Fluid exchange is controlled by blood pressure within the capillary vessel. Within the capillaries, there are five types of pressure exerted. The first type is the hydrostatic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure is a force which is exerted by the fluid against the capillary wall, which means the net fluid moves out of the capillaries into the body tissues. Another type of pressure within the capillaries is called osmotic pressure. This pressure is applied to a pure solvent to prevent it from passing into a given solution by osmosis, often used to express concentration of the solution. This means the net fluid moves from the body tissues into the vessel. The third pressure exerted within the capillaries is net filtration pressure. This pressure focuses on the filtration and movement of fluid across the capillary walls. This particular type of pressure is the difference between net hydrostatic pressure and net osmotic pressure. Next we have blood colloid osmotic pressure. This is a form of osmotic pressure exerted by plasma proteins in a blood vessel that usually tend to pull water in a circulatory system. This pressure promotes reabsorption. Reabsorption is the organic process in which a substance of some differentiated structure that has been produced by the body undergoes lysis and assimilation. The fifth and last type of capillary pressure is interstitial colloid osmotic pressure. Interstitial colloid osmotic pressure is a force exerted by protein molecules within a tissue's interstitial fluid. This pressure is normally very low. Interstitial fluid is the liquid found between the cells of the body that provides much of the liquid environment contained within our bodies. There are another type of capillary within the body. They are called lymphatic capillaries, which are tiny, thin-walled vessels, the smallest lymphatic vessels of the lymphatic system. They are closed at one end and are located within the spaces between cells throughout the body, except in the central nervous system and in non-vascular tissues. Within the lymphatic system, there are vessels called thoracic ducts. They pass upward in front of the spine and drain into the left subclavian vein, near its junction with the left interjugular vein. The thoracic duct also carries lymph, which is water and solutes, from the lymphatic system. Another duct within the lymphatic system is called the right lymphatic duct, which is about 1.25 centimeters in length. Its purpose is to drain the lymphatic fluid from the upper right section of the trunk, the right arm, the right side of the head, and the neck, and sometimes the lower left lung. In conclusion, the bulk flow and filtration in the capillaries is an ongoing cycle. The arterioles transfer fluid from the heart to the capillaries. The capillaries then send that fluid to the venules, which is then sent back to the heart. This cycle continues with the help of different pressures to circulate blood and fluids throughout the body.